In this lesson, you will learn vocabulary related to cars. So in red, this is the windscreen. This is the registration plate. This is also called the number plate. And these are the wheels. And this is called a wing mirror. In red, these are called the headlights. And in green, these small orange lights in the front of a car and also at the back of a car, they are called indicators. Indicators. Okay. So this is the left indicator and this is the right indicator. And in blue, this big metal um, bar at the front of the car, this is called the bumper. So the bumper protects the car. Okay, so we have the headlights, indicators, and a bumper. And we've already seen this, but this is a close-up view. So this, again, this is the wing mirror. And we use wing mirrors to see traffic on the side of the car. Okay. This is called the boot, the boot. Now notice this is the British English word. So British English, we call this the boot. And in American English, they call it the trunk. Okay. We can say that the boot is open and the boot is empty. There's nothing in the boot. Here we have a different example. We can ask what is in the boot? And we can reply, there are some bottles of water in the boot. And this is at, now at the front of the car. This is called the bonnet, the bonnet. And again, this is the word in British English. The Americans, as usual, have a different word for this. They call it a hood, the hood. Okay. And here we can say that the bonnet is open. Mark has opened the bonnet to look at the engine. Okay, so inside, underneath the bonnet is the engine. Again, let's look again at the wheels. So we've already seen this, this is the wheel. But in fact, a wheel is made up of two parts. There are two objects here, in fact. First of all, on the inside, the inside, this is called the wheel rim. This is the actual wheel, in fact, the, yeah, to be 100% correct. The wheel is only this part the wheel rim. And on the outside of the wheel rim, we have a tire. So there's a tire on the outside of the wheel rim. And the whole thing, we often call it simply the wheel. And again, this is the British English word. And the Americans, it's the same pronunciation but it's a different spelling. So it's tire. So it's the same pronunciation, tire and tire, but the Americans, they spell it with the letter I. And the British, uh, in British English, we spell it with the letter Y, uh, yes, Y. Okay, tire. Snow chains. So when it snows, we use snow chains to increase the grip, to increase the grip. And without snow chains, the car would skid, the car would skid. Okay, so when it's snowing, um, we say that a car or a vehicle um, skids. 
and people so a person um, slips so we say people slip on the snow and vehicles skid on the snow okay so in red here we have brake lights brake lights and brake lights that come on when we brake so that's where the name comes from obviously so to brake notice that this is a verb um, i am braking this means i am putting my foot on the brake pedal and i am decreasing speed i am decreasing speed so we have a verb to brake and in blue just below the the brake lights we have some lights which are white they are white in color and we call them reverse lights the reverse lights and again a very logical name because the reverse lights come on when we reverse notice the expression we say that lights come on lights come on when we reverse so this is reversing so the car is reversing so to reverse it means to go backwards to go in a backwards direction okay this is forwards and this is backwards reversing okay and again we can have um there's a verb here i am reversing or the car is reversing let's have another look at this same car it's the same car but there's something else um, I don't know if you've noticed it here we call this an exhaust pipe exhaust pipe and here is a close-up view of it the exhaust pipe so exhaust comes out of the exhaust pipe exhaust is all the smoke and pollution that comes out of a petrol car or a diesel car um, hopefully with the new electric cars we won't uh, we won't need or there won't be very much exhaust so this there isn't really a name for this this is like a cover or a lid but it is what is inside behind this that is um, that is interesting okay so if we open this little door okay so if we open it this is the word that we are talking about and this is called a petrol cap a petrol cap and again this is the british english word and the americans call it the gas cap the gas cap so the object itself is the cap this is the cap and the difference is because um, in British English we call the fuel for cars we call it petrol petrol and the Americans call the fuel gas okay gas even though it is a liquid they call it gas okay so that's the difference the Americans also call this the fuel cap fuel cap okay so we remove the petrol cap before filling up okay so to fill up this is an expression this is a phrasal verb to fill up it means to put petrol in the car okay so now let's look at the interior okay the interior or the inside of the car and we have a steering wheel steering wheel so we, we, we also have a verb so we say we steer a car we can steer to the left and we can steer to the right this is called the rear view mirror so we use the rear view mirror to look directly behind the car or to see directly behind the car to see if there is any traffic behind us and we call this 
in this little box here and this we call this a glove compartment glove compartment okay so we often put maps or documents in the glove compartment or gloves as well driving gloves okay now can you see that there are three little things here on the floor so we say that there are three pedals on the floor this is for a manual car this is a manual drive car not an automatic so there are three pedals so what are these three pedals in english what do we call them well the first one is called the clutch pedal and we use the clutch pedal when we are changing gears and then we have the brake pedal the brake pedal so we use this when we want to reduce speed when we want to brake and finally this is called the accelerator pedal so when we want to increase speed we use this one sometimes you'll hear it called the gas pedal but the proper name is accelerator pedal okay so in red this whole thing this glass window the whole thing this is called the windscreen and in blue these objects here we call them the windscreen wipers and we use the windscreen wipers when it's raining okay because they wipe the windscreen this is called the gear stick and we use the gear stick to change gears so we use the clutch pedal and the gear stick in fact to change gears and we can ask we can ask the driver what gear are you in and the driver can reply for example I'm in first gear or even simply I am in third I am in third doesn't need to say the word gear because with the context we understand that he's talking or he or she is talking about um, the gears so we can say I'm in third or I'm in reverse okay and this object here this is called the handbrake and we put the handbrake on after we have parked the car so notice the expression put the handbrake on okay put the handbrake on after we have parked the car we can, you can ask someone is the handbrake on is the handbrake on okay so when we want to come to a complete stop we use the handbrake this is a seat so obviously this is where we sit and the top of the seat this part is called the headrest and there are two seats in the front of a car we have a driver's seat and a passenger's seat the headrest supports the head while driving this is called a seat belt and the seat belt reduces the risk of injury in an accident we can say to someone please fasten your seat belt please fasten your seat belt and we can also say it is important to wear your seat belt so notice the verb here we have fasten your seat belt and we can also say wear like we wear a hat or like we wear um, a t-shirt like clothes we say wear a seat belt okay so that's the end please give the video a like if you enjoyed it and if you're preparing for the IELTS exam click here for information about our online course and here are some other videos which I think you'll like